I really see history as a site of activism for me. I, I think that my mom taught me about my own history for me to be proud to be Asian American during a time in the 70s and 80s when you, you, know, you, you weren't told to be proud. She made a point to talk about how we were Japanese Americans incarcerated during World War II. That was our legacy as a people. And also that uh, I was Okinawan, colonized by the Japanese people. I think one of my first, I would consider, acts of public kind of activism was uh, submitting an essay when I was 10 years old. And uh, it was about sort of my identity and, and justice and how we need to be kind to each other. And uh, you know, the government is evil because it incarcerates difference. After Trump got elected, we were so devastated. I know that a lot of students were totally destroyed. But what I like to remind people is that conservative backlashes happen during times of great social and political change. I think that there's a way in which the left has now become center, and so there's this renewed reaction. There's a way in which every time an act of injustice happens, there's this upsurge of popular support that wants to overturn it. That's kind of incredible. Like, we never see such mainstream support against injustice. Uh, so in that way, I have great hope. Uh, I also think that the rise of conservatism today reminds us that we can never be complacent. You know, I'm in ethnic studies and, and I'm in the College of Ethnic Studies. We never believe at San Francisco State that we should ever be complacent. But uh, what's kind of cool is that the, the rest of the world who may have been sleeping have kind of woken up. My work is all about debunking myths around race, um, destigmatizing sexuality, right? putting a face on an Asian American queer. I consider myself part of the radical left. Um, I think that people might see me as an educator, as an associate dean in a public institution, and that seems pretty mainstream and conservative. But I do think that my job is to support uh, folks in the margins. And for that, that means faculty of color at San Francisco State University. It means queer students of color at San Francisco State University, and it means queers of color throughout the community and in the Bay Area. I don't think that anything necessarily will change. I, I do feel uh, inspired by all these, you know, uh, activists, queer activists who are, who are doing things, right? It's, it's also super moving for me to see so many folks of color out there, you know, rallying, creating coalitions, right? If anything, I feel more inspired to continue doing the work, seeing how other folks are uh, also engaging and being excited and galvanizing themselves towards political change. Mm -hmm.